The Bible says, I will be glad and rejoice in thy mercy. Thou hast considered my trouble. Thou hast known my soul in adversities. There's this tendency in sinful man, even and especially in the children of God, to think that God has forgotten you whenever you go through trouble. We're so akin to being comfortable that we couldn't possibly think that God is thinking of us in adversity. And yet, as we walk through this wicked world, we will face trouble. We will face adversity as we oppose the ungodly system all around us. And when we're in those predicaments, it's good to remember that we have a considerate God, a God who's thinking about us, a God who's looking upon us, a God who has fixed his mind upon us. He has considered my trouble, the psalmist says. He's thought about us. He's waited upon us. He's watched out for us even when we think he wasn't, perhaps, when we were in trouble. He has known my soul in adversities. That's not just an intellectual knowledge of knowing, but an intimate knowledge, like a husband knows his wife. There is an intimate connection, connection there. God says, I will be with him in trouble. He's touched with the feeling of our infirmities. He's known my soul in adversities. He's been connected to you. What is left for us to do? Come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy. The psalmist said, I will be glad and rejoice in thy mercy. If you know God's considering you, and if you know God knows your soul and adversities, what's left to do but storm his throne and cry out for the mercy you need to get through the trial this day?